walking down the aisle and if they have them they're gonna be right up here and what is up my breaking family sending some positive vibes in your direction uh, 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 um the king has arrived oh the sun is so bright at his royal palace the king of the dollar store is here at Dollar General. Why, you ask? So basically, here's what's happening. There is brand new Pokemon tins popping up at Dollar General locations, and we are going to go on the search for them today. That's right, you and the king of the dollar store are not going back to the studio until we find at least one of those brand new Pokemon tins. The Snorlax, a Mimikyu, and a Darkrai. Go ahead, put a crown emoji down in the comments, and let's go inside and try to find some Pokemon cards. Also, Breaking Family, turn on your notifications because this Friday, we are officially doing a Pokemon Evolving Skies opening. The Pokemon Company sit over this booster box and this Elite Trainer box, so the celebration officially begins this Friday right here on the channel. I can't wait to see what we get. Do you think there's an evolution inside? All right, must resist the Takis. Walking down the aisle, and if they have them, they're gonna be right up here, and... So that spot is for the $3 booster packs, and then right beside it is where the tins would be. $13, and that's where they would go. But however, let's make sure that there's not any Pokemon tins just uh, sitting around here. Any Pokemon cards at all, really. Maybe some hiding behind this display. Is that crazy string? I gotta resist. Must resist. Trying to see if there is any Pokemon cards at all. I do not see any, but we are going to ask them behind the register and see if there's any up there. Wait a minute, what is this situation? Lay's potato chips with Cheeto flavor. That one's got Funyuns, and then those Lay's have Dorito flavor. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We might need to try one of these. Which one would you try? Would you try the Cheeto Funyun or would you try the Doritos Cool Ranch? Let me know in the comments which one. You can only get one though. They're already stocking Halloween candy here at the Dollar General. Wow, okay, and Halloween, I mean, it's, it's, it's only August right now and we got Halloween candy. Okay, so unfortunately, we did not have any luck at the first, the first stop. You know the king can't go to just one dollar store. Breaking family, you and I are not going back to the Pokemon studio until we find at least one of those Dollar General tins. Let's keep going on to the next store. Here we are at the next one. Boom. This is the aisle. Okay, let's see if they're possibly back here. Oh, how awesome would that be if they were buy one, get one 50% off? Okay, right here is where the single booster packs would be $3.50. And then right up there, Pokemon 10, $13. So it looks like they either have not stocked them or they are completely sold out at this Dollar General. I'm gonna look along the top and just to see if there's any boxes of Pokemon cards up there. And I don't think there is. Okay, so I asked the really nice cashier up here up front and they think they actually might have some so we're gonna we're gonna wait and find out Ooh, breaking family look at this we got one of the new tins right here inside we got that snorlax tin look at that snorlax just having a good time enjoying its life so as you can see with the image on the back there's also a Mimikyu and a dark rye tin we are going to try to find those then we can do a pokemon cards opening with the entire set seriously so pumped we just found the new pokemon tins inside of dollar general i can't believe it what second dollar general we found a tin so that is so awesome and the cashier was so so nice i probably told her thank you about a hundred times all right breaking family let's keep going and try to find that dark ride and that mimic you tin and my mind is still thinking about those lays potato chips with that Cheeto or that Dorito or those Funyuns flavor. I think I'd have to go with the Cool Ranch Dorito flavor. Should have got some. All right, here we go. On to the next one. All right, Pokemon cards, Pokemon cards, Pokemon cards. Um, okay, I created a song out of this and uh, it looks like that brought me bad luck because I don't see any. There's a the spot for the booster packs. But however, I do not see a spot for the tin. Anything down here? No? No? Unfortunately, no luck. Aww. I think I know what the problem is. The king does not have anybody to lovingly annoy. Marie is not here with me. I love Marie. So let's go get Marie and see if she wants to go on the Pokemon hunt with us. Now, Marie. Yeah? I see you're hanging out here in the air conditioning. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm burning up. 
Okay, fair enough, fair I'm enough. Staying here. That is a pro move right there, for sure. Oh yeah. But we are here at yet another, who that sun is bright, <laughs> Dollar General, still trying to find those Pokemon card tins, the new ones that have been popping up. It's 89 degrees out there right now. Do you realize <laughs> this? You're letting the heat in my air conditioned car. I don't know how many more Dollar Generals we're gonna go to before I just completely melt. Melt. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like some water? It gives you life. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I did it. You did, you're doing one of my jokes. I don't know. What? Right? Yeah, one of my one of my cringy jokes. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna head inside. We're gonna see if we can find any Pokemon cards at this one. Alright, I guess I'll get out. Breaking family, we are successful, Marie. Yes, we got two of the brand new Dollar General Pokemon card tins. Well, they're not really Dollar General exclusive, but they're popping up at Dollar General. We got Mimikyu and we got Darkrai. They actually had four tins um, and then a couple booster packs, but that's the only thing we got right there. Yep. I can't believe we actually found them. The Mimikyu one was the one that I wanted to find the most and there it is. Yeah, we got it. We got it. So we're going to go home. I know. Look at that. Adorable. Adorable. We're going to go home. We're going to open all these up. We're going to have a good Pokemon opening. The king has found. I'm really drawing this one out. I know. His Pokemon cards. Let's go home to the Royal Palace and open up some Pokemon. So I actually decided to go ahead and stop at this Family Dollar location and uh, much to my surprise, we found some Pokemon packs. Now they didn't have any of the new Pokemon card tins. However, they had some Sword and Shield base set packs. Four dollars for some Family Dollar Pokemon cards. I figured, hey, let me go ahead and grab a few packs. We'll open those up today as well. All right, now a sparkly edit inside right here as we transfer to <laughs> the Royal Palace. <laughs> Breaking family, the king of the dollar store has arrived back at his royal palace and it is time to open up our Dollar General Pokemon cards. Maybe just a little bit too over the top. All right, Psyduck, I am returning the royal scepter to your possession. Psyduck always holds on to the Royal Scepter. It is time to open up our Pokemon cards that we got at Dollar General. We got the Darkrai 10, we got the Mimikyu 10, and we got the Snorlax 10. All of these new Pokemon cards we're gonna be opening up in today's Pokemon opening. We also stopped at Family Dollar and got some Sword and Shield base set packs for only $4, we're gonna open those up as well. A huge dollar store opening today. But first, we have to warm things up with chilling rain. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> How do we warm something up if it's chilling? Either way, let's start off today's Pokemon card opening with one pack of chilling rain that I did not buy at a dollar store. I think I bought that pack at GameStop, but we gotta warm up. Still makes no sense. We gotta warm up today's Pokemon opening with a chilling pack. All right, here we go. We have a Coughing, Delibird, Galarian Farfetch'd, Porygon, Heracross, Energy. We'll put that right back there in the filing cabinet. We have a Scroll of the Skies going into a Zarude and a Passivian for the rare. So we'll set that right down there. There is the code card. I give out the code cards in every single video. I never keep them. I always give them to you. The Breaking Family I upload four to five times every single week, almost 1,000 videos. I think next week we will have hit 1,000 videos here on this channel. Might be this week, actually, so I'll have to check. But let's go ahead and go into our family dollar packs. These were only $4. Not too bad at all. A chance to pull a full art Marnie inside of this set, which if you did not see the Marnie opening earlier this week, we did an ultimate Marnie opening where I uh, opened up a few different Marnie related items as well as the new Marnie uh, premium tournament collection box. One of the most strange box designs I think Pokemon has ever done, but very interesting. Energy, Dove Wool, 
We have a Loomberry, Galarian Rapidash, and an Inteleon for the rare in that one. So if you want to see that Marnie box, that new Marnie box, go and check out, uh, I believe it was Sunday's video. So uh, it was the video right before this one, so go and check that out. You can see that Ultimate Marnie opening, and over half of the box had Ultra Rares inside of it. I know it's a little bit of a spoiler, but it's still, trust me, it's worth the watch. Uh, over half the box having Ultra Rares. We got Gasly with those Canto Vibes Energy. Put that in the filing cabinet right back there. Ordinary Rod. We got Pokemon Center Lady and a Stone Jorner for the rare in that one. No Hollow Rare yet. I mean, that Zerud back here, Reverse Hollow Rare. So, I mean, that kind of counts, but no Hollow Rare spot just yet. All right, going into our next Sword and Shield base set pack. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, almost lost, almost lost count there. Here we go. We have a battle toy going into a Garuki Yamper. Such a good pupper. Silly Cobra Energy. We'll put that back there in the filing cabinet. Rotom Bike Metal Saucer. We got a Moon on going into a Torkoal V Ultra Rare Pokemon card. Woo! All right, all right. Opening up Pokemon cards. Getting, getting a little lucky there. Getting a little lucky. We got to sleeve it up. We have a sleeve right here. Here we go. Right up there in the VIP section. The very important Pokemon card section. All right, here we go. We got Zamazenta on that, that pack artwork. What if there is a Zamazenta Pokemon card inside? That would be that would be a coincidence for sure. All right, here we go. We got Garuki Snome in the snow. Oh, snow Pokemon. I know I asked this a couple days ago, but tell me your favorite snow-related Pokemon. Or your favorite ice Pokemon. Dubwool and a Drapion. I believe I asked that in last Saturday's video where we went searching for Pokemon cards at night. It was a nighttime search at Walmart. So if you want to go check out that video, and we actually, we actually like hit the jackpot on Pokemon cards, it was really strange. So go and watch that video and let me know what you think. Rookity, Rhyhorn, Chewtle, Cottony, going into energy, goodness. All right, we got a rare candy. It's not a common candy, it's a rare candy. Stone Journer, and there we go, our first hollow rare going into a Toxicroak. There we go. I feel like I have a hard time pulling just regular rares. All right, our last Sword and Shield base set pack, and then we will open up those Dollar General Pokemon cards and uh, see what all is inside of them. All right, so we had six packs of Pokemon Sword and Shield cards. We got Galarian Ponyta Energy in the filing cap cabinet. All right. Wow. That came right back at me. Great ball. Corvus Squire. And it'd be rude to tell a bird to just sit there and not spread its wings and fly away, bird. Fly away. Don't worry. I'll pick it up. We're just having a good time. We're just having fun. Galarian Rapidash and a Keldeo V. Whoo. Looking very, very fierce. Welcome to the party, Keldeo V. Let me go ahead and sleeve, sleeve it up officially. Here we go. Whoop. Right up there in the VIP section. And your complimentary bagel bites as well. We have cheese and we have pepperoni. Whichever one you would like. You let me know in the comments. If you're coming to the VIP section, are you going to take a cheese bagel bite? Or are you going to take a pepperoni bagel bite? I wonder if we can edit uh, two bagel bites in my hands right here. <laughs> All right. Going into, let's start off with... Well, the one I'm most excited about is this Mimikyu 10. I love the design of it right here. And uh, I believe that is a promo inside of it. I think the hollow foil pattern is just different. So these tins are $13. Um, I did find them. Well, I guess I didn't find them. I asked um, about them and they were behind the counter uh, at, uh, at both the places that I ended up buying them ended up buying Pokemon cards. So we got this Mimikyu. So this Mimikyu is not a promo, but the hollow foil pattern is different. So if you like to collect all the foil patterns, you're going to want this one as well. So there is that Mimikyu and there is the code card for this tin as well. It is a Pokemon 
Mighty Mysterious 10. So keep that in mind. Pokemon Mighty Mysterious 10. And that is the Mimikyu one. So we have Vivid Voltage. There's actual regular packs, normal packs of Pokemon cards and not dollar store packs of Pokemon cards. Not one dollar Pokemon packs. All right, we got Vivid Voltage is the first one. So let's go ahead and open that up and see if we pull an Ultra Rare. I would like to be able to figure out if we can get official confirmation, um, whether it be from a Family Dollar, a Dollar General, a Dollar Tree, or Pokemon themselves, if Dollar Packs, if $1 Pokemon Packs are done, are, are we never gonna see them again? I would like to know, honestly. Dedene, pick a pack, fly away, fly away, pick a pack. Energy, League Staff, Crooker, Rocker, 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 Rocker. We have a Fampy and a Yan Mega for the rare. There's the code card right there. And next one is Darkness Ablaze. Also, this. Well, I'll, eh, I'll tell you. Well, I'll, I'll tell you right now. Um, if you didn't, if you're not following me on social media, all my social media is down in the video description down below. But uh, I have posted pictures of an Evolving Skies Booster Box and an Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box. Uh, so this Friday, we will officially be opening up Evolving Skies right here on this channel. So make sure you turn on your notifications right now. Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh, so turn on your notifications right now. This Friday, we are officially going to be opening it up. We got Rebel Clash right here as the third pack. Pokemon Company was nice enough to send over a booster box and an elite trainer box to kind of get the party started to help celebrate Evolving Skies getting released on August 27th. So it will be a, a bit of an early opening courtesy of the Pokemon Company. So uh, this Friday, so make sure, make sure you are uh, hitting that notification and you are tuning in for it. There's the code card right there. I can actually, I can go ahead and show it to you. I just can't show you anything else except for the box and uh, the box itself, so. So right here is the Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box. We got Sylveon, Espeon, Vaporeon, and Glaceon on this box right here. And then we have our Evolving Skies Booster Box. I already took the wrapping off so I could take pictures of the booster packs and uh, post them on my social media, but there's the Evolving Skies Booster Box and uh, the Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box. So we're gonna do a uh, Pokemon Evolving Skies opening this weekend here on the channel. So let's get ready. Let's get ready, Breaking Family. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what all is in the set. I'm excited to see what, what combinations uh, players come up with with these new cards as well. So I'm, I'm just excited about it all. I'm excited for the playing side. I'm excited for the collecting side. I'm excited for everybody. We got Darkrai right here. And there is the code card for the Pokemon Mighty Mysterious 10 Darkrai. So there is that awesome, awesome Darkrai. We'll go ahead and set that. Oh, you know what? We'll go ahead and set it right up there in the VIP section. All right, so we do have Vivid Voltage once again. So it looks like possibly the packs are going to be the same in all of them. I mean, I can't 100% confirm that, but it looks like Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze, and Rebel Clash. We'll find out when we go through all of these. We got Riolo, Sandile, Wilmer just splashing around, having a good time. We got Energy, Mighty in a, uh, Trumbeak, Trumbeak. There you go. Fly away, Trumbeak. Sableye. Sandile and a hollow rare Snorlax. That's our first hollow rare from these uh, Dollar General Pokemon tens. And the code card for that one. Also, we hit 800,000 subscribers here on the channel. So thank you all so much. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I never, never thought we would, uh, we would be at 800,000 subscribers. So seriously, seriously, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means the absolute world to me. To be able to just come here almost every day, spend time with you all, talk about life, 
two, talk about Pokemon, just enjoy each other's company. I love it. I love it. So thank you for spending your spare time with me. I really do appreciate that. And a Milotic Hollow Rare. Goodness. Hollow Rare goodness. There will be an 800,000 subscriber celebration video coming up very, very soon. And it's a little bit something different. Something that you would not expect. It's got Pokemon in it, but I don't think you'd expect this. So, uh, or... or I, I don't think you'd expect this as uh, an 800,000 subscriber celebration video, maybe? I don't know. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to show all of you. So, Galarian Farfetch'd. Galarian Mr. Mime. We got Energy. Goodness. Lombre. Halu. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Indeedy. Lampet. And a Ludicalo for the rare. So, two out of the three packs. Having hollow rares inside, not bad at all. And then last but not least, we gotta get those Kanto vibes going with this Snorlax tin right here. Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll see if the same Pokemon packs are inside of every tin. All right, so none of these are technically promo cards, even though I kept wanting to call them promos. None of them are technically promos. You can see right down there, they just have a different hollow foil pattern. All right, and we'll put that Snorlax right up there as well. There is the code card for this last Dollar General Pokemon opening. We got Vivid Voltage with that Ore Beetle on there. Oh, we got some Milkery right there. All right, Vivid Voltage. We've gotten two hollow rares, no ultra rares from any of these Dollar General Pokemon tins. We got Shuppet, Energy, Drone Rotom, two Hollow Rares though, so I'm happy about that. Drone Rotom, Reverse Hollow, and a Flareon. We got Evolutions. I guess that makes sense since we just talked about Evolving Skies. Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze, coming in strong. All right, possibly a Full Art Charizard card inside of this. I have yet to pull one from Darkness Ablaze. Is this my opportunity right here? We got Jigglypuff going into a Skitty Golet Energy. We got Dedene, Steeny, Rose Tower, Vanillish, Dairy Queen Vibes, and an Ampros. Almost, look at this. Ampros and Snorlax are definitely, are definitely, uh, are, are feeling that summertime vibe today. Code card right there. All right, we're going into our last booster pack, Breaking Family. Hit that like button right now. Let's get some good luck going on this last booster pack. And don't forget, Friday, officially Evolving Skies. We got that booster box and that Elite Trainer box. That Elite, that Elite Trainer box. All the way from the Pokemon Company. Very, very kind of them, and I appreciate that so, so very much. It's such an honor. All right, here we go. Last pack. We have a Hone Edge Litwick. Dare I say, it is lit. Sorry, sorry. I had to make the joke. I apologize. I know it was bad. I know nobody in the balcony is laughing on that one. We have a Galarian Corsola Binnacle Energy. We got a Hatchrim Pokeball Lampet. All right, code card. And we are ending on, drum roll please. <laughs> ah, so close. Let's let, re-drum re roll. All right, drum roll again. And we are ending on. Oh, Full Art Talks Tristy VMAX, you did not ruin the party. Breaking Family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out these videos right over here. I'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget, I love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.